Hello and welcome to Teacher Interviews. I'm your host, Hannah Wilsey, and today we're interviewing math teacher, Mr. Opara. Can you spell your first and last name and say your pronouns? Sure. Um, A-N-S-O-N-O-P-A-R-A. Pronouns are he, him. And what is your position at this school? I am a high school math teacher. Okay, and then what job do you have besides teaching? Um, I'm the head boys varsity soccer coach, and I also um, bartend. And how did you get into bartending? Uh, Actually, during college, I was looking for a job where I didn't have to spend, like, a lot of hours to try to make, like, good money in the time that I was working. And first I started serving and learned how to do that, and then quickly moved up and then got a job bartending and found that the money was pretty good for limited amount of time of working. So like what I could make in an eight hour shift was, would take me like 30 hours working at Target or something like that. How many different restaurants have you worked at? Um, holy cow. Not all of them would be bartending, but probably f- close to f- 15 to 20 probably. In yeah. how long of a period? Um, I would say since I was 16. So when I was 16, I think my very first like food service job, I worked at a Subway. And then yeah, I've worked at the first serving job. I worked at a Perkins. So I learned how to like, you know, wait on tables, um, things like that. And then I worked at... Uh, Red Lobster in Golden Valley on 55 and then that was different because that was the first place I ever worked at that served alcohol so after serving there then they quickly were like you're really good you can do a lot of tables at one time how would you feel about moving into the bar and I was like I don't really know a lot about like different drinks per se or anything they're like we'll teach you and I just kind of went from there and what was your favorite place you've worked at so far? Um, I've worked at uh, Maynard's on Lake Minnetonka was really good to work at. Good money. Met a lot of my friends there. Um, most of the people that were my wedding were from that job. And my good friends from a long time. Um, worked at some other places like concurrently while I was working there before I started teaching full time. Um, some of my buddies were general managers at other places and they just needed reliable workers. So I've done management and stuff too, and bartended at other places. Um, but pretty much stayed there and then now working out at Lord Fletcher's, which is also out on the lake. Um, that's been really good money. And how frequently are you working there? Um, you, uh, the last, since, since I've had a daughter, I've cut down, so I do like three nights a week, Um, but I used to work like five days a week. Yeah. Not just in the summer, but during the school? No, just during the summertime, yeah. I haven't haven't actually bartended while I've been teaching except for my first three years I did a little bit, but I just would do weekends. I do like two nights a weekend or something like that, like Friday, Saturday night, or um, maybe one and a half on average. Do you find it hard to manage having two jobs at a time or is it fine since it's not? Um, When I was first teaching it was not it was really hard because uh, the hours like teaching I'd be here you know in the morning till three or five um, and I was working at a different place for my buddy and it would be the shift would be from like five till three a.m. so I would be exhausted at the other job um, and then kind of like get a second wind around like 11. I'd be like, okay, I think I can go now. Um, but then when I'd like be driving home from work, I would just be like gassed. And I would just sleep all day on Saturday until like two hours before I had to get up and then go and do it again. So it would mess with my sleep quite a bit. Um, I try to do it a little bit here um, towards the end of the school year. They have they want me to kind of come in, but... I don't press that because the the sleep gets really messed up for me to be working nights and days, nights and days. And then 
It's like your body doesn't know when it should be awake and when it should be mm-hmm. asleep. So was that hours thing that you were just talking about, is that a current thing or is that... It's not what? current right now. It, it's a, well, it could be potentially. Um, they've asked for some extra help. They're just a little short right now, waiting for kids to get off of college um, to come back. So they're like, hey, could you work like Wednesday night? Something like that. Um, I said potentially maybe in the in the last two weeks maybe a school but um i said i wouldn't like close i'm not going to stay there till like one in the morning or something i need to be done at like 10 when it gets Mm -hmm. a little bit calmer and what restaurant is that lord fletcher's out on lake minnetonka is that a seasonal place um they're open year round but definitely like during the open hours their patio is crazy busy this is their like their prime time to make the most money they do like eighty thousand dollars on a day of business um so it's pretty big big place and what are some of your favorite things about having a second job um extra cash definitely it helps me and my family do extra things that i couldn't do just solely on a teacher's salary um Usually that that money kind of goes towards us, like doing a vacation as a family, or um, we did some improvements on our house. Um, All of that was kind of just extra money on the side that we use for that. Um, And then it's just kind of nice because if I'm working at school, I have to think about kids, or I do think about kids outside of school, like while I'm not working and I'm working outside of school hours, where there I just work during that time and then I just leave and I don't have to like I can just leave the job there so that's one of the parts that's really nice about it that does sound nice do you find it like frustrating to get grading and stuff done if you have to go to another place a hundred percent yeah it's like near impossible (laughs) to do both um you try to do it but it doesn't really work um you got to manage your time well if you want to do one of them really well so would you recommend having a second job to other teachers i'd recommend if you don't have to to not i think also not having a job in the summer kind of gives teachers a time to just relax and kind of reflect and kind of just rebuild from the school year because it's pretty demanding um but in actuality it's for a lot of people just for your lifestyles and trying to get ahead um it's not feasible you a lot of teachers do do that um usually what stops people working is child care so some people are like well i could work but then i'd have to have child care if they have children so um, luckily with me and my wife we still do daycare in the summer um but we don't do full time. We switch it to part time, and then I can work a couple days of the week. What are some important lessons that you've learned from working two jobs? Mm, working two jobs, one thing is time management and making sure that you're not like putting one in front of the other. Um, another part would be bartending and teaching is kind of interesting because you wouldn't find a lot of similarity to it, but To be a good bartender, you have to be able to read people off of limited information. So, like, as they come up, are they having a good day? Are they having a bad day? What is their kind of demeanor? Um, As a teacher, you have to do that all the time, too. So they kind of go hand in hand. Obviously, like, what you're doing at either job is different after that point, but you're constantly looking at new people all the time. So... The skills transfer over, so it's kind of interesting that it works that way. Okay. Thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for the next episode.